WTAM is back. Well, we are at a brand new boutique here in the Valley, Desiree Flewellen, live for us at this hour at this cute place called Baby-ish. And uh, don't you love little baby clothes too, Des? I mean, they're so teeny and oh. like the little mittens and everything. Absolutely. Come check this out, actually. I think I have to grab it for D3 before I leave because I've been staring at it all morning. This army zip up, it's adorable. So many cute things inside this boutique called Babyish, though, here in Phoenix. And we're here with the owner, Katie. Katie, your story is incredible. You had your daughter seven weeks early. She's now two. Uh, but you started this boutique because you couldn't find anything to fit her. So tell us, you know, yeah. what led to opening <laughs> sure. during a pandemic? Sure. So I started Babyish initially. My daughter was um, really tall, but really skinny. Um, just didn't weigh a lot. We couldn't find a lot of clothes that fit her properly. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's just so hard to find. Everything we were finding was white. Um, and so I just wanted, I was so excited to have a girl. I was wanting everyone to know <laughs> she was a girl. Um, so I started off actually making some of the head wraps on our wall, just making sure she kind of always had those on. Um, and then I just had to constantly do some yeah. alterations on clothing. And you make so many different yeah, patterns. The I do. cheetah. Um, here's one with flowers. That's adorable. And you've made a lot of what's on the table here. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of what's on the table I made, um, and then anything that isn't handmade here, um, I try to work with local um, boutiques. We get a lot of our fabric from local, local people as well. And... What is the most rewarding part of this experience? What has it been for you? Yeah, I think um, just seeing all of my stuff on children is super rewarding. You know, it's like I started the business not really knowing what it was going to be. And we're kind of like, oh, we'll start it and we'll kind of see how it goes. And mm -hmm. now just seeing like a ton of people tag us on social media um, and then just like repeated customers that come in and tell us how much they love everything and how beautiful it is. It's just it's it's really cool and kind of surreal just seeing like all of my stuff on children. Yeah, And we're looking at some of it now. Let's pick out your favorite outfit here and show folks. Um, I'm going to pick mine. It's this one. It's <laughs> so cute, you That guys. is a really, really cute outfit. That. And you do clothes for boys, too. And you I say, do. you know, a lot of people don't realize that. But you do yeah. have something for everyone. Yeah, I do have something for everyone. Um, and right now I go up to sizes five, um, trying to kind of figure out how to do larger sizes. It's just a little more time consuming, but mm -hmm. um, that definitely try to say gender neutral that way. Like I say, that's the boy I was size. just going to ask, talk about the inspiration for the clothing. Yeah. Uh, because we're seeing a lot of those neutral tone mm -hmm. colors and kind of what led you to go in that yeah. direction. Um, well, neutral tones have always kind of been my thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not huge for a lot of prints and a lot of things go out of style. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is add kind of like a timeless touch to everything. Yes, so, like I don't want dinos yeah. on my kid's <laughs> shirt. Yeah. I just or like don't. crazy floral <laughs> prints. So it's kind of, um, you know, and we always hand our clothes down mm -hmm. um, to family and friends. So I'm kind of trying to make, you know, something timeless, um, but also things that you can, you know, if you have another child, no matter the gender, most of it you can hand down as well. So everything is kind of reusable. Great. And you're super mom. You yeah. even bring your daughter into work with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. And we... you've created a space back here for you. Not really part yeah. of the boutique, but I just wanted to show you guys yeah. how adorable it is back here. And she comes, and this is where you will stitch yeah. some of your work. Yeah, so I sew everything back here, and then my daughter comes into work with me. So we did a little um, kids' corner, um, and we welcome when parents come in. I know it's easier to shop when your kids are busy, so we welcome um, the kids to come back and play, watch some TV. Great. And we have to wrap up, but quickly, uh, give us your hours. So right now our hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 1 to 4. Okay, and your location again? Our location is uh, 7th Street and Camelback, so 4532 North 7th Street. All right, so right here on North 7th Street, babyish. You can get really adorable clothing like this. I love all the stuff in here, you guys. We'll send it back so to you. So cute. Hey, Des, that yeah. little outfit that she has sitting right next to her sewing machine, how long does it take her to put that together? If she sews so many oh, items for her know, store. How long would it take you to put something like this together? You have so many items. Yeah, just depending so like, on what it is. So those are all swimsuits. Um, really about 15, 20 minutes. Really? You could make a full swimsuit, yeah. She's like a pro now. She She's taught amazing. herself in like five months, and it takes five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That is so great. Super cute stuff. 7th Street and Camelback does. Thank you.